Hello, this is Dr. Gay. This is a lumbar spine to look at the anatomy. So here we go, we're gonna start with a side view where we can see the abdomen off to the left of the screen. This is the abdomen up top, pelvis down below, belly button's about right here, and this is all the abdominal contents, bowel loops and abdominal fat and blood vessels. Now these squares are the vertebral bodies. The lumbar spine has five vertebral bodies, L1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Below the lumbar spine is the sacrum that looks quite different. Above is the thoracic spine, looks very similar. In between the vertebral bodies, we see these little gray things. These are the intervertebral discs, and we should see nice disc spacing. This patient has that. And we should also see nice alignment. All the vertebral bodies are on top of each other just right. Now behind the vertebral column, we have this area that's dark. This is fluid in the spinal canal. Now centrally, the nerves go through the spinal canal, and they exit on the right side and on the left side through these little holes called neural foramina. And in the foramina, we should see a little dot, like here, is a nerve exiting on the left-hand side of this level, and also on the right-hand side. Each side should have a, a nerve um, coming off between each disc at each disc level. Again, these are called the neural foramina, and then here is the central canal. Now, if we put up another view, we can see the same anatomy, but now fluid has turned white instead of dark. And on this view, you can see the discs are very bright. This is normal, a nice, healthy disc has a lot of fluid in it, so it's similar to fluid in the spinal canal. And these discs have nice spacing. There's no disc bulging or protrusion, no herniated disc material. And you can see the spinal canal is wide open. You can see these individual nerves coming down here. And again, you can watch each one exit through the holes here, the foramina. So this is just the normal anatomy, what we look for. Now we can put up another view here. We're cutting through in short axis dimension. And we go up and down the spine through each disc level. So for example, this is a disc level here. This is called the L34 disc. Here's the front of the disc, back, right, and left. And what we look for is the spinal canal, which is this white area. That's the fluid in the spinal canal. And you can see each one of these little dots is an individual nerve. So we look for a nice wide open central canal. And we look for a hole over here on the right hand side, which is called a foramen. That's where the nerve exits. And we look for the hole on the left hand side where the nerve exits. There's a nerve coming off right there. So at each disc level, we look for the central canal and the foramen to see if they're open.